don't think too well of humans. None of these are goblins. Numerous goblin sightings all over the world over the years, and in today's video, we'll go over the top ten goblin sightings from. Thanks to Prime, huge dude, and the recent Bapple and Carbon. Ready to join the bits the Pyro squad? Then make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of our interesting videos ever again. That being said, let's begin. Oh god, we're going in! Space goblins! Ah! The tiny hopping goblin. <laughs> One afternoon, someone was filming a little boy playing with his soccer ball, and presumably the boy wanted to show off some of the tricks he was working on or learning. However, no one in the room expected what happened next. When the boy accidentally kicked the ball into the hallway, oh God. he appears a little reluctant to go out and get the ball. That's the goblin's seconds, territory. We know exactly why. The ball doesn't go very far, and the boy takes a couple of steps into the hallway. What he sees next is oh! a shriek of terror through everyone's spines, and in the camera frame, you can see a small creature hopping <laughs> through the frame. It's too How small, small does he does think a goblin is? Torso or hind legs. Didn't wait, didn't we see this video for for gnomes? Wasn't this uh, confirmed to be a gnome sighting, not a goblin? Did this guy do any research? Where is that little bastard? Fines, and in the camera frame, you can see a small. That's clearly a gnome. It's like one of the like rice crispy guys. God damn, amateur. He didn't do any amount of research. Fucking has a montage of everything but goblins in the beginning. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This guy does not know goblins. Thanks for prime huge dude in the resub Kiwingly, in the resub Vader and Bintel. Creature hopping through the frame. It's too small to be a rabbit, and it doesn't appear to have a long torso or hind legs. No one's really sure what it is, and it's only in the camera frame for not true. seconds. Not true. Experts have confirmed that it's a gnome. The little boy crying. We're not sure if he ever got his ball back or if the family stayed in that home. It could have been <laughs> some kind of small rodent, for all we know. No, that doesn't that doesn't make any sense. Why would it be a rodent? Well, it's clearly a goblin. Soccer at night in a quiet town in an area of Chile or Argentina. They were having fun, laughing among each other, and playing a nice, friendly game of soccer. However, when one of the boys kicks the ball over to the area with the trees, it's a well-lit area, so no one suspects anything of being over there. Goblins do hate soccer. Over there, however, something He's not gonna like this. Nowhere ...and begins walking towards the darkness. It appears to be a small <laughs> goblin-like creature wearing what? a robe and a hoodie. No <laughs> As goblins are known to do, goblins are very well known to love robes and hoodies. This looks more like a Jawa from Star Wars. I think we can't rule out that possibility. It could even be Georgie from It. Like maybe he's going to try and catch his boat. The quality is too low to know for sure, but I there is still that possibility it's a goblin. I can't see their face. Wearing a robe and a hoodie. No one's quite sure what to make of the creature, and the kids begin following the creature to see if they can get a better view of what they just saw. They don't quite catch up or see the creature ever again, but the boys do leave back. Goblins are not an evil they gnome, they're very different. A person wearing a robe, and if it was in fact a person, why was it walking the way that it was? Why did it not- It's running, it's called running. Out in the middle of the night, walking alone in a dangerous place. Is that, I can't tell if this guy, like the guy who made the video is serious or not, or if he's just playing into like, children. Like, this could very well just be my Final Fantasy XIV character for all all we know. But, like, why does he keep saying, like, he's walking weird when he's clearly running? Why didn't he say anything? What the fuck is he gonna say? I don't go around talking to kids playing soccer at 4 a.m. Like, I can't tell if the guy's just going along with it to appeal to, like, actual babies or not. Or if he really does believe these things. I love these videos, though, regardless. I like to believe that the guy behind the channel is truly frightened by the things that he finds, and he posts them in earnest. That's what I choose to believe. Bill of the night, walking alone in a dangerous place. Hidden in plain sight. Thanks to Prime Yoda and the resub in rather Illuminati. Video, it's hard to see exactly what the people here see, but once the object starts moving, you can see it clear as day. 
friends are having fun recording themselves at night, but no one thinks of the object standing right behind them against the wall, sitting. That's a gnome. Side. That's because everyone assumed it was some kind of or the prop or the pope that was like out in the yard. The pope got hit with a shrink ray. He's got the pope hat. To move like a human, that people start to become concerned. The object seems to grow legs and quickly walks out of the frame, sending people scrambling. Are we sure it's not a dildo? Leaving the cameraman and his friends questioning what exactly they saw, how they can mm. comprehend what they just saw, and how long that creature had been there. It couldn't have been the wind, it would have taken some heavy wind to blow something like that away, and nothing else was moving. What do you think it was? Did a lawn ornament or object come to life? Was a goblin hiding there the whole time watching the kids play? Or is there a... It's probably a goblin. That's no probably a goblin. Goblins. In what appears to be someone's backyard camera or security camera, it looks like another quiet night. Their backyard is lit perfectly well, and all we can see in the beginning of the video is a tree, some fencing, and some grass. <gasps> goblins! However, things They're having a marathon! Turn ...as some small objects, smaller... Track and field goblins. ...to run alongside the fence. It's hard to tell exactly what's running alongside the fence at first, and it appears to be about a dozen objects running in unison, dressed exactly the same, with the <laughs> same body type and appearance. Towards the end of the video, we can see a couple of objects fly over the fence and stop moving. There could be a simple explanation for this video. Perhaps it was a group of kids running and no. kids particles of clothing to throw them over the fence, but why are they running and what are they running from? Why would two people randomly remove particles of clothing to throw them it's over the fence? It's clearly goblins that were running away from like a death beam, and then two of them got vaporized. Prisoners from a nearby holding facility? There are so many questions what? to this video that just may never get answered. Out in the woods. They're not bunnies, the they're goblins. You no, know it's probably not gonna go well or end with a happy ending. We're not sure exactly where these people are filming, but they appear to be walking around in the woods and stumbling upon some an Scooby? abandoned structure or perhaps someone's home. They start to approach the home and they notice something. Oh, alive. I didn't know that, Naruto. They take a look at one of the pillars of the building and they appear to spot oh, true, Dr. B. That's truly frightening. A little creature peers around the This is another gnome! Quickly goes back this channel sucks. What the fuck? They just take the gnome videos and then call it a goblin. We've seen like half of these when we were researching real gnomes. Obviously, as one does. Because I've become a leading expert on identifying gnomes and pixies. This is not a goblin. Behind the pillar, quickly disappearing into the shadows. While the video isn't perfect quality, it looks like an image of a person that's really small. They try to follow the creature and slowly pan the camera around the edge of the pillar to see if they can still catch a glimpse of the one creature, but go positively gone, bonkers. No traces of anything behind the pillar. Now, this is one of those things you have to take into account as this could easily be faked, but nonetheless, it is rather interesting. Do you think it's a computer-generated person since it looks so much like a person or a real <laughs> goblin? The Wandering Goblin. <laughs> this one might be closer to a leprechaun with the broad shoulders and the way okay. it's walking, but it's still terrifying nonetheless. We see someone filming from the second floor of what we assume is somewhere in South America. The camera starts out with a shot of their hey, daughter. Three sub Salem. They quickly pan down the to tier the one shady. where a little girl is playing on her bike. She walks over to the side of the house to pick something up, and as she's walking back, we see a small creature that looks like a goblin or leprechaun <laughs> casually strolling through as if he lived there. And he seems to have copied her clothing! Ah, so it's like a chameleon. He can mimic the colors around him. It's... What if it's her from a different dimension? And the multiverse collapsed on top of each other because they have the same hair... Same top, same jeans, and in this dimension that we collided with momentarily, we all happen to be like one foot tall. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. The little girl was obviously frightened, and the image of the small creature sent her running for cover, but the creature didn't seem to react to the child screaming. It just kept walking as if it had somewhere to be. We have no idea where this was filmed or what the outcome of this video was, but it's still scary nonetheless, and we don't know if the creature was pursued or if it just disappears behind the corner like others have in the past. 
Actually, tier Go one big time sure. goodies and tier and one Camille. Wasn't human. <laughs> the small <laughs> the prime goblin. cheddar. The video starts out harmless. Yeah, I know what that is. Don't worry, watch some of it. Just filming their child as most parents do. Things are just a blank. Everything a child does is precious, and parents certainly like to overdo it when it comes to sharing moments of their children and their actions, even if the child's just you give sub. doing nothing. Bubble, Marisa, John. We don't really John. get a hint of anything being wrong until a few seconds in, when out of nowhere, this small creature appears to be running for cover. <laughs> a small creature runs behind what appears to be a stand. It's Dobby, the house elf. The child Christ. This is a glimpse of the small creature because he looks under the desk to see if he can spot him again. We're not sure if they ever caught another glimpse of the creature, and the child couldn't seem to find it either. We're not certain what, what exactly the they caught on camera, but we can definitely tell you that it didn't seem human. <laughs> it's definitely a goblin. I mean, obviously. <laughs> well, who would even bother making this video? Is there like a community of people who just make fake goblin videos, I guess? Like, why even make this? Doesn't make any fucking sense. I, it looks like they just rotoscoped some, like, guy who was streaking at a soccer game. And then, like, put it here. Like, superimposed it here. It's D.B. Cooper. That's true, it could be. Pretty wild stuff. I mean, I'm convinced. I, I was a little skeptical coming into this. It's like, yeah, gnomes are real. We all know that. Pixies, too. But, like, goblins, that's a little far-fetched. But now, after seeing some of this hard proof, like, what, like, what the fuck is this? You know, you can't explain that definitely tell you that it didn't seem human. It seemed rather quick for its small size. The creature looks kind of green or brownish. It looks like it's balding and almost <laughs> looks like an alien. The Sideways Moving Goblin. These titles are amazing. Video or a hallway video, we're not exactly sure where this video comes from, but the video is straight to the point. The only thing we see in the image is some weird limping creature that seems to be holding something in its right or left hand. We can't tell if the back or front is turned to Oh, the goblin's doing the old uh, karaoke. It almost moves as if it's a doll. The footwork drill from football. In perfect rhythm, but that would take some serious coordination to pull off, which makes us think it's not so much a Is that a pencil sharpener? A worldly creature that can't be explained by science. Or is it? There's really no information available on this thing that seems to move with a limp, other than that the video footage is a little grainy and it doesn't look like anything logical we can identify. Exit reset burrito. Spider-Man Goblin. Oh, I do love big, this Bigfoot and Yeti stuff. Thanks to Prime Dursi. No clue why this person was filming, or maybe they saw something before the video we see to get them to start recording. What we see is a quiet residential neighborhood and an apartment complex. Everything seems rather quiet, and no one's outside, but then, we see this shadowy-like figure <gasps> appear and start moving what the in fuck? between windows and in between the apartments. As That's goblins exactly are known to do. The figure is looking for, or if they're trying to find an open window. This is why you should never <clears throat> leave your window open at night, because you never know who or what could crawl inside. <laughs> Yeah. The appears to be rather you don't want to invite a goblin like it in. knows how to scale walls and climb along the side of the building, which is even more terrifying. It doesn't move or look like any known animal, so we can only assume that the video has to either be fake or that this was something we'll never be able to explain. <laughs> a photo in a photo. <laughs> one of the most crystal clear cases it, This is one of the better videos I've seen to convince me of goblins. Like how can you argue? It starts out as a friend filming their person who is in turn taking a picture of them. It's not long until we see an image of a small creature like presence behind them. When the creature starts moving, it almost looks like what? it's a dressed monkey, but the creature <laughs> doesn't move like a monkey and doesn't behave like His a potential monkey. explanations are remarkable. It takes a minute to stop and just sits there watching the cameraman. The people don't seem to be too frightened because they have no clue what it is. After a minute, it takes off into the wilderness to never be seen again. Do you think any of these goblins... What do you mean? Like, isn't this just actually a child? It starts moving, it almost looks like it's a dressed... This, I feel like whoever made this video is a goblin and he's trying his best to get us off of his trail like, Look at these goblins! And is it like fire hydrants and like human beings wearing a hoodie? Because this guy seems so detached from like the most basic thought processes of like I've ever 
heard. This is just an actual child, and he, the first thing he goes to is a dressed monkey. And then when it was like the <laughs> this small uh, person in the hoodie running across the street, the first thing he says is, why didn't they stop and why were they walking so weird when they were clearly running? What a weird guy. Thanks for the prime. Mig in the Reseb Power and Grievous. Sharks of the Corn? Yeah, perhaps in a bit. Give me one more second. I want to see 